So that's a common question that I receive. Uh, people are hearing a lot about Next Gen Michigan. It isn't always apparent what it is. And part of that's because uh, Next Gen really isn't a single thing. Next Gen Michigan is the university's long-term strategy for moving to the next generation of technology that uh, will keep this university great. So it's um, looking at uh, what's actually possible now, but um, not easy to accomplish, um, and turning that into something that is uh, possible and actually happening. So let me give you a couple of examples, if I could, to try to make it real to people. Uh, think about the possibility of researchers at the University of Michigan uh, being able to amass the health record of every individual that has a chronic illness, and along with that health record, being able to add to it the individual's gene map and the environmental conditions in which they have lived. Think about what that combination of data could enable in uh, next-gen research <laughs> for uh, medical advancements, uh, both uh, in drugs, in treatments, and in understanding the causes of many of the chronic illnesses that exist today. In order to do that, uh, we have to have the capability of putting the data together in a secure, safe way. Uh, we have to be able to store it. Researchers have to be able to manipulate it. They have to have the tools for analysis. Um, and then we have to have advanced ways of presenting it uh, so that uh, when you prov combine uh, data, when you amass that much data, the way that you're able to present it so that uh, the simple human mind <laughs> can understand what's there, all of that depends on next generation technologies. Or think about being able to have students anywhere in the world interacting in a class that perhaps is being taught here in Ann Arbor, or maybe some of the classes here and some of it is in Singapore and uh, some of it in Africa, or uh, but a, truly a global real-time experience uh, in a, a learning environment where students can interact with each other, uh, with graduate student assistants, and with faculty from any location and at any time. Uh, that's another example of um, what we would like to be able to do and something that requires next generation technologies. And so we coined this phrase, Next Gen Michigan, so that we could bring the campus together to have the conversations about uh, what is it that we envision uh, for the future of the university and what does that imply uh, we must uh, build in our technologies to enable that vision to become real. NextGen is different from IT rationalization. Uh, NextGen is about the future and uh, building the technologies for the future. IT rationalization is a component, um, a step that is necessary to get us to NextGen Michigan. So um, we started by doing an assessment of our current technologies. And uh, it's not surprising to anyone to say that uh, what we discovered was that uh, we have a significant amount of redundancy in our technology offering and that our infrastructure, frankly, is fractured. Uh, we don't truly have a solid IT infrastructure uh, that is required for the next generation technologies. And so IT rationalization is our effort to uh, bring together the multiple services and technologies that exist redundantly, bring those together into a consolidated offering that, one, provides a higher level of service, and secondly, drives down the cost 
of offering the service. Um, and then the savings that we achieve can be reinvested into the new technologies that are next generation technologies. Um, we have gone about IT rationalization by bringing together representatives from all across campus because it's very important to understand that we are not trying to centralize. That is not the goal of IT rationalization and that actually would be antithetical to the goals of Next Gen Michigan. What we are trying to do is to build a robust flexible infrastructure by consolidating, by bringing together what's currently fractured that should be running at the core that then can be leveraged by units all across campus in order to develop edge technologies, the innovations that need to occur at the edge, but that um, are built on a shared flexible infrastructure. So IT rationalization is a step in getting to Next Gen Michigan, and Next Gen Michigan is about enabling faster innovation at the edge. You know, in some ways, uh, cutting costs and investing definitely those two things definitely are at odds, but the strategy is actually quite logical and it's proving to be successful. Many, many universities right now are trying to rationalize their information technology. Um, research universities are big complex places and um, the technology of the past decade has been a technology of the personal computer and networking. And what that has enabled is a, dis a disbursement of technology across uh, the research communities. Um, so the idea here is that while we, we need technology at the edge, many technologies have become um, commodity services, things that were 10, 15 years ago uh, cutting edge or creative um, are now offered as commodity IT, you can get it from a vendor. And we have moved beyond the local area network as the innovation platform because we are now in the age of uh, consumerism, uh, mobility, uh, social networking, personal devices, and so we are moving beyond the uh, local area network to uh, you might think of as the global network and how people interact with that. And so by leveraging what's become commodity services and uh, acquiring those from external providers, uh, looking at them truly as commodity, that then enables us to achieve savings that are invested in the next generation edge technologies. So we started this initiative, um, it's been about two years ago. And we consider the IT rationalization time frame about a five-year project. Now, um, we really look out longer than that for um, gaining all of the return, uh, the savings that we're going to be able to make. But the IT rationalization portion of NextGen is mm, another two, three, four years in the works. The next generation technologies, as I've said, we are starting now to deliver. Some of the things that I mentioned are being delivered now. Um, some of the things that are being um, um, thought about or uh, discussed, uh, we, we start by pulling together a group of people to define the need and then developing a strategy and then putting in place an investment request that's followed by a project that actually uh, delivers the service. 
And so that process should become an ongoing process, something that never ends, so that we are always looking to the future, so that we are always thinking about the most important investments that the university should be making to enable the outstanding faculty who work here and the outstanding students that we recruit and the very dedicated staff that we have to be delivering at the leading edge. That is, we want to make the investments in our technology and our technology infrastructure that enable the University of Michigan to continue to be the great leading research university that we are today.